Here we are in our QuickBooks Online test company file using the accountant view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top, switching the view down below. We've been looking at e-commerce situations where we sell inventory, not on ground, not in a store, but rather online in the cloud with the help and use of third party applications. For example, a Shopify or Amazon as examples. No matter which method that we are using, we're typically going to have the bank feeds as part of our integration to pull the information into our QuickBooks system. So if I go into my banking here, we've got our integrations of our checking account and our PayPal account. If you haven't set these up in the past, that's okay. You can kind of upload the data in a practice problem situation as we go and set up the accounts as you do that if you want to follow along with the practice problem. In prior presentations, we've been thinking about a, a scenario where we look at our Shopify store, we look at the reports in the Shopify store, we pull that information uh, into our system with a journal entry, and then we also are going to see the payout information, which is in uh, the, finance, the payout reports. And you can have a similar process with other softwares like an Amazon. We might do an Amazon example as well. But we, we talked about how we can do that from an Excel standpoint in prior presentations and try to use a journal entry to break out more information rather than just waiting for the data to hit the bank because then we're not going to have the breakout of the more information. So uh, as we think about this method, then we had our data on the left hand side where this is mirroring what we get from the PayPal. This is this is the data on the sales data. And then these are the pay, the payments that are going to come out through PayPal and through the Shopify uh, payments that are going to ultimately hit our bank account. So now I'm just going to mirror the concept of these payments actually coming through and hitting our bank account by setting up our QuickBooks bank feeds. And I'm just going to import the deposits that are going to hit the bank accounts just so we can kind of see them in our example problem from a QuickBooks standpoint. So we did this in a prior presentation, if you've been following along with prior presentations here, but to, to upload data into QuickBooks from bank feed data, we can just make an Excel file that looks like this, date, amount, and you might want to put description here. I'll keep it at bank memo. This is what the bank feed data is. It's just going to have increases or decreases from the bank. The bank knows when the money went in or in out. It knows the amount and it knows some memo data. It'll have more memo data if there's electronic transfers. So this is this amount that we're going to tie out here is this is going to be I'm calling it the the bank feed for the this is for the PayPal account. So I'm just mirroring in our practice problem what happened here in the payout and I'm going to assume the payout uh, uh, PayPal is going to hit us with a $5.55 fee. So the amount that's going to hit our checking account, I'm going to say is this $12.94. So I'll put that here. So I'm going to say we're going to work in October 25th, 2025 in the future, $12.94. And that's the amount of uh, that's going to be the Shopify pay. All right, let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to say file, save as, and I want to save it as a CSV file. And so I'm going to change it from an Excel worksheet to a CSV comma slice. And that's what I can upload then to QuickBooks. I'm going to say this is going to be bank feed, let's say number two. <laughs> and I'll say, okay, 